Good morning from New Jersey. I haven't been able to say that in a while. Here we are, we're getting in the car. It's not, oh, dropped my keys. It's not that, that cold out. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cold, but it's not like, wow, these keys are really. <sighs> Look at them down there. Gotcha. But it's not like frost on everything, like frigid. It's just cold. What's up guys? As you can see, I'm in the car. Right now I'm driving to the post office and I'm gonna mail out all these packages and all the orders. Great work by Jennifer Norton. You got your order in last night. I packed it up this morning and I added it to the stash. So slipped in there perfectly in time. Yeah, we're going to the post office. The dream is on. Thank you guys so much for all the orders. Christmas is coming up. BenGravy.BigCartel.com for anything that you guys would like to purchase. I'm stoked, so thanks guys. <laughs> That was one hour of commitment at the post office. Woo! Full hour, I can't believe it. That was so gnarly. All right, let's keep moving. The day continues. Thank you guys for all the support. Anyone who had an order in, it's in the mail. You're stoked. Thanks guys. I missed him yesterday, but he's back. I missed you yesterday. Where's your mom? She's usually here. Yeah, she. What? I don't know what she's doing. Thank All you right, very man. much. You too, man. Woo! <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? We don't know what it is, but we're gonna find out. Oh my God. Oh, yes! Dude, I'm stoked. Solo shot three. Come on. Thank you, solo shot. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, thank you. I am stoked. I know that this isn't just like a pull it out of the box and do it type of thing, but definitely a learning curve involved, but I am so excited to have this thing. And I am ready to rip. This is gonna up upgrade my vlog so much once I dial this thing because I could just paddle out at novelties by myself heavy thank you guys guys check out solo shot the first and I believe only robot cameraman and what I mean when I say that is I put this thing on the beach and it just films me I'm stoked thank you solo shot you All right, what's up guys? I just got this box in the mail. It's empty now, but it did have some things in it. This is one of the things that were in it. This is a beanie. And um, the box was from a company called Wind and Waves. If you've been watching the vlog long enough, you know who this is. They are a lifestyle brand out of Burlington, Vermont. And I went and visited them. All right, we're at Wind and Waves, we think. Earlier this year, I did the New England tour with the Grom. We went from Connecticut to Rhode Island, to New Hampshire, to Maine, and then to Vermont. And we actually ended up river surfing in Vermont. 
My friend Conrad, the Hyperflex team manager, hooked me up with the guys from Wind and Waves when I went up there. That's their logo right there. And they took me to a couple river spots and we actually ended up finding a wave and they are the reason that I was able to surf in Vermont. So I had a lot of fun with the crew. We really got along. <laughs> Yeah, he got it. He got it. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. 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 Thanks, boys. Yeah, it was just a really good experience. So a couple months after that, they hit me up, brought me onto their podcast. They do an action sports podcast, and they interviewed me for about an hour, and we just talked about my life and my goals and everything that I'm doing. Not too long after that, they actually hit me up and introduced the idea of sponsoring me. Now, at first, I thought that it might be a little bit of an interesting situation because I do ride for Heritage Surf Shop and Wind and Waves does have a shop. But um, I went down to Heritage, I talked it over with Kevmo and Randy, then I got on the phone with Brian Heritage and I talked it over with him. I bounced a lot of conversations off of Kev and Ross from Wind and Waves and all the guys at Heritage and I worked it out and I'm gonna be surfing for both companies. I'm gonna be riding for Heritage as my hometown surf shop as I have since I was 10 years old. I'll always be flying the Heritage Surf and Sport flag and I appreciate everything that they've done for me. And I'm also gonna be riding for Wind and Waves because Wind and Waves is a lifestyle brand and these guys wanna bring me on and help me do some traveling and they wanna help further the novelty hunt, just help my career overall. So a lot of support coming from the guys at Wind and Waves and I just want to say thank you guys. I am honored. They already hit me up. They said, welcome to the team. And I just want you guys to know that I'm going to be surfing for these guys. So check them out on Instagram. I'm honored. This is part of the dream. They have a lot of cool ideas, including bringing me out to Texas uh, to do tanker surfing. Everybody at the shop and everybody at the brand is just really cool. So I'm really excited to be coming on board. It's for the dream. So win and waves for the win. Thank you guys so much. I am stoked. And uh, we're about to go to the Motor Vehicles Commission today. Stoked. <laughs> all right we're in the car right now because we're heading out to Mays Landing New Jersey and we're going for the heaviest inspection pass ever we got my front end rebuild that I did myself with parts that I ordered online and parts from my old car we have the check engine light and the ABS light constantly on and we have 287 1,820 miles on the car. My old window that shattered, if you guys remember that, is claiming that my car expired at the end of October. So here we are driving out to Mays Landing and we're gonna, we're gonna go past inspection in a total piece of shit. However, this car rules because I bet other cars that are nicer that have passed inspection could have never gone down to Florida, all the way across to Louisiana and then back. To Jersey for the dream. This car's got something else other than just being a car, you know, it's got soul. And if it doesn't pass inspection, well, looks like we're getting a newie. <laughs> this is heavy. Vehicle inspection, left lane. Oh man, we're going in. Oh baby. Heavy. You know how I know we're gonna pass? It says inspection and heavy duty inspection. I'm gonna go ahead and this is state, this is state, this is state that my car falls under heavy duty inspection. Certainly. <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. You need this? I do. I need your registration, your insurance card. All right. Surfing today? Not today. I just got back from Florida. Ah. My what insurance. Here? Oh, my window broke, uh, so I had to get a replacement. It's All a right. pretty neat idea. Cause you could just came here and got a new sticker. I could have. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> Please, All right, here's check that out. His window broke, so he taped the glass. <laughs> so on it, I got my title, everything. Here you go. All right. And I'm gonna find my license for you too. Yeah. Did we pull you over for that? Uh, no. Nah, the the Longport cop said something to me one time. I don't know. She was like, "What's up with that?" Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like I broke my window." <laughs> all right, you're good here, honey. Yeah. I just need you to step out. You can't sit in the vehicle because you're all packed up. So I'm gonna need you to go to the American flags up to the first booth.
inspection. Okay, I figured that. <laughs> Six codes. What's wrong with it? They don't tell us what they are. Really? Yeah, you can Google it. You okay. Can Google, Google inspection codes. Okay. That's all it is. So you can tell you what they are. Um, here's a little pamphlet with some information on it. Get it fixed. After you get it fixed, put about 100 miles in the car. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a. Oh my god, it's a miracle we made it this far. All right, well, that's that, guys. Six things wrong with my car. Six things that didn't allow me to pass inspection. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Gotta go see what Papa thinks. He, he's the master, master of it all. believe they rejected you girl just thought we had a couple hundred thousand more miles left together I just can't believe they rejected you girl I'm sorry they rejected you girl <laughs> all right guys also as far as the solo shots concerned I actually have to leave it here to charge I have to wait for a patch update before I can run it we're gonna have to let the solo shot charge and as far as the hydrofoil I know that this is really exciting for you guys it's exciting for me the slingshot hydrofoil that I unpacked last night we'll get Lafine. I have to wait to ride that too because you are supposed to ride it in clean conditions especially your first couple times so I have to wait for the ways to be clean hopefully within the next week or two i'll be able to get that thing out there i'm really stoked for that just a lot of exciting stuff happening since i came home i also want to share another letter with you guys that i got from a guy named daniel ching it's from sacramento and it's a piece of mail that he gave to me oh it's daryl ching I'm sorry, Daryl. He says, Dear Ben, my name is Daryl Ching. My friends call me Harry, my middle name. I just received your email reading that you sent out the second batch of shirts I ordered. I also purchased shirts and several candles on my first order, which came promptly. Stoked to spread the word and the stoke of the Nub Nation. The pineapple candle is amazing. It smells like pineapple sex wax I grew up with. So intoxicating. I first started following you when I discovered Nub TV on the Surf Channel and was blown away by your infectious stoke and humility towards people and animals. I was thrilled to find out that you have a daily vlog and was able to catch up on the old ones. Your stoke and enthusiasm for even the smallest waves, especially the novelties, are appreciated. I had to get a seven foot cat surf foamy. It sure beats riding my standard longboard in the tiniest conditions. Your sincerity and compassion for people and animals are what really sets you apart. You're real, and that's a blessing in this day and age. You're a true inspiration to me in the Nub Nation. I've told my brothers in Hawaii about your incredible positive attitude, and they've started watching Nub TV too. You're my favorite pro surfer, or should I say semi-pro? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 54 year old, originally from the North Shore of Oahu and I've been living in Northern California for 15 years. My wife is from here. During the summers, the waves are tiny and weak, so the seven foot soft top shines. My good friend Ray in NorCal is from South Jersey also. He bought me a Seven Street Surf Shop hoodie and tee, which is kind of neat because Rob Kelly is their team rider. You! Would you mind giving a shout out to the NorCal and North Shore boys? Nub Nation for the win. My claim is surf to surf another day. Aloha, Daryl Harry Ching. Good luck with your court case. Surfing is not a crime. I just want to give a huge shout out to the NorCal and the North Shore boys. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Check out Daryl getting after it right there. Well overhead nug. Yeah, Daryl. Wow. Once again, so crazy that he wrote good luck with your court case and I just opened it. I solved my court case yesterday and that's just universal energy working at its finest right there. Daryl, thank you so much. I am honored. I appreciate it so much and I just, I don't even know what to say. I'm stoked. Stuff like that makes me know that I'm on the right path. So thank you, Daryl. Thank you for the support for the win. Phew.